Hey everyone, it's Pastor Ken. Hope you guys are doing okay today. It is Wednesday, the 18th of March. I'm sitting here in the sanctuary of Dalton First United Methodist Church because a sanctuary is a place of safety. It's a place that was set up for us to feel safe and take refuge. And it goes way beyond just the building. God is supposed to be our refuge. And during these times when we're all going through a little bit different schedule, it's good to know what God says and why we find safety in Him. I was reminded by my friend Bob Goff that says this, sometimes God lets us hope, lose hope for a moment so we'll retrace our steps and find Him all over again. Let me say that one more time. Sometimes God lets us lose hope for a moment so we'll retrace our steps and find Him all over again. This sanctuary during the week and when we can be here brings hope but not the eternal hope that is only found in Jesus Christ, who gives us that relationship with God the Father. So during this time where it's different, where we have a few questions, maybe we're a little inconvenienced, you know, I'm sorry that vacations are postponed or we're going to lose our hotel bookings or things like that, but it goes way deeper than that where people may have their lifestyle changed during this time. But we don't find safety in this building. We don't find safety from Clorox bleach. We don't find safety ultimately with anything in this world. But we do find safety and hope through God. Deuteronomy 6. All the way back in the Old Testament, it says this. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them or whatever the situation is. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. And I love this scripture that tells about the characteristic of God. As I'm sitting in this sanctuary, I remind you that God is our sanctuary. So if we're having a little bit of fear, a little bit of anxiety, or things are just different right now, remember that we can find fear, that we can find safety and not fear through God. Here's the deal. I hope that during this time, we are looking out for each other, not just for our own inconveniences, but we as the body of Christ, we as Christians, are looking out how we can take care of others. Check in on those neighbors. Uh, text a friend, call a friend, a family member, just to see how they're doing. And let's be praying that God will use us as the body of Christ to bring people to Him as a sanctuary. This building will not be here one day, but God the sanctuary will be here forever. Let me pray for you. Lord Jesus, I thank you for our church, for our community, for our nation. I pray that we as Christians may not look at this as a time of inconvenience, but a time to let our light shine for you more than we ever have before. Let this time, let us, let us retrace our steps to you, God. Let us find out what is important to us. And let us, as the body of Christ, look for those in need. And Lord, for those who are facing different circumstances, maybe for a while now, I pray that we will reach out to them. Lord, I want to lift a special prayer up right now just for those who are uh, infected with this virus. May you take care of them. May you heal them. We love you, Jesus. Hey, everyone, I love you so much. Remember, our church is here for you. If you need anything, please give me a call text, reach out, whatever way. Watch tonight. We'll have some special Bible studies going out online, and I just hope and pray for you. We love you. I love you, and I'll talk to you soon.